So, oh no. I got a question for you, some of y'all. Have y'all ever wanted to make your own 808? Have you ever wanted to take an 808 from a pack and make it doper and make it yours? Have you ever just wanted to make an 808 that's different, that is unique to you, that's gonna make your beat sound different from all the rest? Well, make sure y'all tune into this video because this is where the sauce is at, boy. Meek sauce, meek sauce, meek sweats, um, meaty sweats. Yo, levels are good? Your levels are good, yeah? You guys excited? Because I'm so excited right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dudes. Dudes, today is a special day. Today is the first Meek tutorial ever. I'm excited to be here. Just first want to give a shout out to Team Producer Grind uh, for giving me this amazing opportunity to be on the team. Definitely not going to disappoint. Uh, we got some amazing content and more stuff coming for y'all. The Back to Studio sample pack is out now. Um, something to definitely get y'all cooking um, uh, in between them Zoom sessions, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For y'all who don't know, my name is Meek. I'm going to be giving y'all some VST sauce today in this video. We're going to dive in deep into a plugin called Sublab. Um, it's by a company called Future Audio Workshop. My favorite thing to use right now when I'm making 808s and beats and when I even making 808s or even sub basses and other types of production. I think it's a perfect all around plugin. I definitely want to give you all the sauce and the look on it and show you all some sauce on how to use it, um, uh, what it can do and how you can make your own 808s out of it. So let's go ahead and dive deep into Sublab. Um, I'm gonna get my cap on. Um, just wanted to show you guys a brief overview of it before we dive deep into how to use this plugin to your advantage. So as you can see on the website, Sublab, the hardest hitting sub bass every time, which is mad true, has got amazing presets in there, has got this thing called X Sub Technology, which is like their own sub bass type of oscillator, which pretty much ensures that every note that you play on your 808, that root note will have that bass rumble you know low frequency information that we all want from our 808 so this is definitely a gem in this plugin and is one thing that makes it stand out from a lot of other bass plugins that i've seen all the presets are super dope they even have some um bonus uh packs and like um expansion packs uh, they even got some from people like decap and richie souf um uh, who are big producers out there so it's such a cheap price for only 40 bucks um it's really such a good deal for the value that this plugin provides for your music for only 40 bucks it's good compared to other plugins that i've seen that kind of do the same thing like r bass from waves or l1 from waves or substance from output you know any type of 808 bass plugin a definitely sub lab is the easiest to understand and sounds the greatest so I recommend copying it for only 40 bucks. Right here, I'm gonna pull out the full features list so y'all can check it out, but enough talk. Let's get into the DAW. Damn, I've been recording this whole time. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my tea to steep, bro, honestly. I, it's tea time, and I wanna get my tea on before I get things started, you know? Shout out to Tea Gang. If y'all wondering what this is, is one of my singles on Spotify and iTunes. Make sure y'all stream that. Shameless plug. I am gonna show you guys what Sublab looks like. I used one of the loops from the Back to Studio sample pack. I pitched it up three semitones, as you can see right here. Um, and then I made a simple drum pattern with an 808 preset already on here. I'm gonna pull up Sublab and just show you guys like what it has to offer just from one of the presets. And then we're gonna dive in and make our own. All right, guys, let's check it out. So starting from a brand new preset, first thing I want to go over is the sampler section. Basically, Sublab has this built-in sampler, which has a bunch of um, old school and new school type of 808 kick samples. Um, you see some from a TR-808 and stuff like that. Um, if you ever want to listen to what they sound like, what you do is you go ahead and just click on one. 
Um, take this. It's going to start with the synth oscillator up volume. Turn that down and then turn up the sampler volume. And then you'll be able to hear the 808. If you, and to make sure that the sample stays on key, you want to make sure to press track so that it follows your keyboard. You know, these samples are cool and stuff, but what we want to do is you want to take an 808 and make it ours and make it unique. So I'm going to grab one from the boys because the boys make some dope 808s and I definitely want to see if I can make my own, throw my own sauce on there. So go ahead and pull up something from the Whip Up Expansion Kit. So shout out to Fornudo. All these are super fire already, you know. These are just click and drag ready to go, but you know, we're trying to do something a little different. You could use Sublabs as a sampler and throw in your 808 and press track and bring up that sample volume, and then you can just throw the MIDI in there and use it for that. It's something you can do to make that 808 a little more unique and to add a little more without having to put it on the mixer rack, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm gonna grab this Rod 808. Always, when you load in a sample, always make sure that your root note is in C to make sure your 808's in tune. And also check your root octave, and what the root octave is doing is it's moving the octave of your 808 so like like c1 to c2 c2 to c3 so on and so forth what you want to do is like look around one or two and if your 808 is still sounding too low then always bring up that root octave right here so like i said you can just use this and go straight from here to midi but you know we're gonna do what we can to make it just a little more ours and a little more unique you know, even though it's already fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this mixer down to three dB, and then we're gonna move on to the synth section. So so the synth section is a built-in synth oscillator that has complete ADSR controls and um, uh, four different waveform types. What ADSR is, basically it's, it's the shape of your sound, but this one is pretty unique because it has volume, filter, and pitch controls. So when I'm starting out, I like to, as you can see when I add, the synth in I'll bring in that mixer level to like negative three we're getting a little bit more of a rumble right here and I want to I want to show you just what different waveforms can do also right next to the mixer knob is this filter section this is my cat bro to kind of control more of the shape of the sound, I'm going to start messing with the ADSR. I'm going to turn down the sampler just so you guys can hear straight up the synth. So uh, let me show you what happens when I decrease the sustain. If I want there to be less of a tail end on the 808, then I just turn down this release. And that's what gives it that instant release. But if you want a little bit of a tail, I definitely recommend bringing it up to like 1.5 or 2 as a good start. Bring another one. Cool. I want to add like a saw wave to make it just really hard. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess with it with a, some filter effects. So right next to this mixer section is the filter section. With mix controls for the synth and the sampler, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up to 100. And I'm going to use this low pass filter. Just bring back some of that high. but still get some of that grit. Also, what I want to do is go to my filter knob right here, get this release back. And um, uh, what the pitch knob does is it's taking the attack of the sound and increasing it like up 24 semitones and taking a really fast dip. And that's kind of how 808s get their like transient like drum, kick drum type of sound is from that extremely fast pitch bend in the beginning. And what's cool about Sublab is you could control this. So if I want to increase the volume amount, you can really see how fast it works. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring down this amount, just 20, just so it blends in. I get some type of transient. And then what I can do is I can always increase this attack, and you guys can see the difference. That's what increasing the decay does. Now let me just mix in this uh, sample. The reason why I'm doing these extreme um, uh, level skips is because negative 3 dB is the noticeable difference for the ear. So anytime I'm messing with any mixing or leveling or gain staging, if it's something that's 
clashing too hard, I like to go start with 3 dB of gain staging before I do any EQ or anything like that. Bonus tip. So you see that synth really adds a whole another character to the sound without it. And with it. We get a little more attack. We get a little more distortion. And now we're going to go over the X sub feature of Sublab. I start by taking the lows and harmonics and bringing them all the way down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down all these, both of these levels. We're going to remember where we're at and bring up this X sub just so you guys can understand what this sounds like alone. This, look what happens when I bring up this low. So it is a bass oscillator, but it's only strictly for low end and only focuses on anything you can see right here um, in between 30 hertz and 65 hertz. And you can see everything else 30 hertz and below is just information that's not needed there that can get cut. So, so no matter where I play on the keyboard, even if I play um, a C1 to a C2, it still always goes back to a sub note so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring back in our sample our our sin and then i'm going to slowly bring in this x sub let's start extreme let's start extreme like that's pretty dope holy crap you could probably hear that if you're wearing headphones too it's really noticeable in the headphones as well which is dope let's move on to the effects section of this plugin it has two effects distortion and compression. Pretty simple, pretty much all you need for an 8 When I turn on this distortion, there is four different distortion types that you can use from. Some of my favorites that I like to use are tube and dark drive. Let's go ahead and add some tube to this. And what I do is I, I can always add it to my sample as well. So I'm gonna add just a little bit to the sample. Um, I like that there's mixed levels for every section of this. Makes it, makes it cool to do a lot of parallel a lot of parallel mixing slash parallel compression, and in this case, parallel distortion. So, see with the extreme effect? That's tube, dark drive, overdrive, and then grunge. So, I like going through that. I like overdrive actually, it's pretty cool. You can dial it back, dial it back maybe like 20%. And what's cool as well with the distortion um, effect is that there are high cut and low cut filters on it. So if you feel like there's too much high end going on in your distortion, you can always turn that down. So I'm gonna add a little bit to the synth as well. Give it another 20 just to make it even. Yeah, we're getting something that's completely different already. All right, so moving on to the compressor. One, it's a really nice compressor to help um, uh, to help level out your 808s to make sure they're all hidden at the same uh, peak loudness. But also what it's good for is something called side chaining. I press the side chain button, I increase the synth to 100, and what that does is it side chains the sample to the synth when it's playing. So what I have to do for this to take effect is really bring this threshold down and bring that release up. You'll notice too in the waveform display, you'll see the green waveform coming up after the sampler waveform and volume. And that's side chaining. Pretty interesting, pretty cool. So now we're gonna move on to this master display, but it also has other cool features about it, which I'm gonna go over right here on the right. So one is our dB meter. You can see that this shows the peak volume of my 808. So right now we are hitting pretty much at zero, which is good. And um, uh, right here is your master output of gain, so or your master output level. So you can always bring this down or up however you like, or even bring it up if you feel like your 808 is not loud enough. So uh, another thing I want to talk about is the maximizer that's built into Sublab. The maximizer is basically a limiter built in which is there to basically soft clip and maximize your bass for added fatness. So let's check this out. Let's check this out when I bring down the maximize 3 dB. Bring it down to 12. I like to do like three to six, you know, to get solid maximization. 
making sure that that 808 is really fat. Another feature about this is the widening feature. Basically what this uh, little knob does is it widens your base while leaving it in mono, which is really dope for creating really wide 808s. Let's go ahead and just check it out when I adjust the knob. 100%. That 808 spread out just a little bit. So we're gonna keep it at 50, I liked 50. Hell yeah, that's definitely um, going from this to this. A few more features before I end this video. Um, the glide feature, and the glide feature right here is pretty awesome if you wanna just, you wanna have gliding 808s. To ensure that, um, make sure you press legato when the preset or your or when the preset is on, and that'll make sure your 808 slides. And you can change the time. And then one more feature is the sample feature, and this is how you're gonna get that sample, save that 808, and put it into your own custom pack. And how you're gonna do that is you're gonna press the sample button right here. Press a no on the keyboard, just hit it. It's gonna sample it. And all you do is you drag the file over to your DAW. Here is your 808 sample. All right, y'all, that's pretty much all I have to cover as far as what Sublab does. If you guys have any more questions, make sure you guys um, uh, throw a comment down below and I will definitely get to y'all and um, answer any questions you guys have about this plugin. Also, if you have this plugin, show some love. If you'd like to see some more about from this plugin as far as a, a preset pack from your boys, just let us know. I just want to be able to share um, a, a dope VST with y'all that works for me and is definitely something that is going to help make your sound more unique. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for tuning in and um, uh, watching my first tutorial. If you guys definitely like this content, make sure you hit that like button and we'll get more content like this rolling out for all you homies. Um, I really appreciate your guys' time. If you guys have any more questions, make sure you throw it in the comments. I'll definitely get to them when I can. Make sure you guys follow me on IG right here to stay up to date with all my new content, including videos and new music. Get excited, man. Lots more stuff coming on the way from your boy if from producer grind um, but thank you guys so much for the continued support in this community make sure you go grab some free kits on producergrind.com much love stay positive stay blessed peace